Hello guys and welcome back to another video of Call of the Wild. Today we are back out here doing another video of uh, Call of the Wild. And the reason why I want to come back out here and do another video on the Grand Slam grind is because, well, I don't want you guys missing out on the action. I don't really do any grinding off camera unless I see like a rare or anything, then I'll start recording. But looks like the Okay. Well there's one guy we can go up to. Oh my. That guy came right out of the blue. Um so yeah, as I was saying, I want to come out here and do some Grand Slam grind, but today we're gonna be switching it up a bit, because I just fought in nine legendary. We're actually going to be taking this guy with the bow. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. This could go terribly wrong, or it could go terribly right. Um, that's funny, because I actually saw a 9 legendary, um, like, a few days ago. And, uh, my game crashed, and I thought he was gone. So I think this is the right, the, uh, same guy. So we're gonna get what is this? The right Are these the right arrows? Two to seven, okay, okay. Sights. I don't know if we go for the single pin. Yeah, I think it's better. But anyways, we got a nine legendary right in front of us. It's so tempting to take this guy with the uh, the rifle. But I think we're gonna Thing with the bow. It's just that, um, you know, the Great One grind is coming up soon, so. I'm gonna take the Great One with the bow, so. This could be a very good opportunity to uh, practice that. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna make our way around this uh, little river area here. We're gonna cut across over here. There's actually some land you can walk on, as you can see. And uh, I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so just a little recap, I know we'd say that we'd um, make our way towards his zone, but instead of that, we're actually going to go ahead and track him, because I've been playing cat and mouse with this stag for man, a few hours now, and it's kind of a pain in the butt, because it gets spooking, and I expect them to come back to its zone, but they don't come back to their zone, so... You know, we're just gonna have to track this guy because I really don't know what to do. Because, man, these guys are really hard to track. Uh, we're still gonna take him with the ball though. Um, and if that takes up too much time, we're just gonna shoot him with the rifle because uh, right now it's getting kind of ridiculous. It shouldn't take this long to just get one diamond with the bow. So, uh, yeah, kind of bummed about it. Didn't know bow hunting would be this hard. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, once we actually make some progress with this stag. Alright, guys, so I hear them. They are very close. There he is. Go. We got a final shot! Finally, we got this guy! Very close. There he is. Alright guys, so I hear them. They are there he goes. There he is. Let's go. We got a final shot! Finally we got this guy. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I thought we had missed him up there. 
finally, I've been playing cat and mouse with this bowl for, man, like, three hours now, and now we got some weight off our shoulders, we finally got this guy, we could uh, go back to our Abex grind, and uh, I don't know if I've uh, mentioned this, but this is my biggest red deer with the bow, first diamond with the bow as well, so really glad we could actually take this guy with the bow. Landed in a very nice place for a screenshot as well. Wow, look at that. I think his estimate went up to 300 something. So, man, that is a huge red deer. Let's just cut down some of the grass. Wow, that is one heck of a hunt. I had to put Buggo away too because he kept spooking. And look at that. Is he a diamond? 267? So not as big as I thought he would be actually. But man, that is a. Oh, we can't catch it. Anymore. Harvest saved? I think we might have enough time to actually do some Ibex grinding in this video. True score. Man, that is a pretty big red deer. That is huge. There we go. Perfect double lung at 38 yards, actually. Perfect shot there. Um, but, uh, yeah. Looks like we got that time in Red Deer. So, uh, now we can finally, um, do some grinding. Um,. And, uh, yeah, let's get back to the ground. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying, it feels great to, um, get that, uh, that red deer dealt with. Um, but, uh, yeah, so now we're on the grind. And there's actually more males than I thought there'd be at this zone, especially over here. But just look at all those red deer. I almost thought that was another diamond. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I want to find that male that we just spotted. There's a level 2 somewhere. That's cool, that guy just jumped up on that rock. But, uh, yeah, as I look, search for that, um, male, let me just show you guys what Loda I have today, because it's, I mean, it's pretty cool. So, we have the Hudzik muzzle loader. We have the Zarza 308, of course. Um, we also have the 30 out 6 with the Hyperion scope equipped. And lastly, we have the 30 out 6 Emirates Echoes. So, yeah. Both of these guns have the same caliber, but they're actually pretty much different because one is semi automatic and. I think it's out, so I'm not sure. But we're gonna take down a few few of these red deer. Or, uh, Ibex. Oh, terrible shot. Oh. What is that? Male. Why are these Ibex leaving? I uh, don't know if that was a good shot or not. I mean, it looked like a decent shot. Aimed way too far back, though. But, uh, yeah. We'll see what's there, and, uh, but for the ne meantime, we're just gonna wait and see if anyone comes back. Alright, guys, so we actually did switch zones, because, um, those other eyebags went very fast about it, so. We didn't really want to wait, but. Unfortunately, it looks like the red deer, this is the exact same herd that that mine was in, are drinking here, so the Ibex are gonna have to move further down. I don't know exactly what they're doing. Hopefully they decide to drink here. But uh, yeah, it looks like we got all males, no female. Oh, never mind. But uh, right here we got a bunch of males, big ones too. We're gonna use the 30 out 6 to... Uh, Let's do that. Go and 
love to. These red deer are still. This too. Oh, wow, we um, chopped them right away. It's perfect. Got some pressure here now. This video might not be that long, but. I was really loud. Don't know why, uh. Jeez. Yeah, get out of here, Red Gear. I don't need you guys anymore. I've dealt with your, um. That Alpha Man. That Mine Legendary. I was expecting for him to be a bit bigger. I know 266 is pretty big for Red Gear, but. That's my second red deer I've ever seen, so, I mean, hopefully we get bigger ones in the grind. Uh, just thinking about the red deer grind, or the um, Grand Slam grind a lot. Don't know how long it's going to take, but you know, the longer it is, the more we get to stay on this beautiful map, which is kind of a plus side. So we're going to go back to that zone. Yeah, looks like the Ibex that I hit over here hasn't died yet, so we're going to see what's going on over there, and um, uh, hopefully we can um, see some big, big graffiti's Ibex, no, he's still here, alright, we got two new males, I haven't used this gun in a while, it's been a while since I've actually Related this 30 out 6. The last time I used this was like, what? Um, once it came out, the DLC. That was when I had no idea what I was doing. It's called Love. Oh, there's that man I was talking about. Oh, wow, we smoked him. I wonder where we hit him. Wow. Jeez. And it looks like there's only two males here, so let's uh, get these guys. Boom. Down. And down. That happened very quick. I'm starting to like this 30 out 6 now. Okay. Accidentally clicked there. Look at all those females just booking it. That is pretty incredible. I hope you um, get some more males though. got one male over here and two over here. So let's pick up this guy. He is a silver. Got a double lung. I'm really, really curious to see um, where we hit that, this guy behind that rock. Because, man, he was trotting and his vitals were not exposed at all. Got this guy in the one as well. Oh, ooh, lag. Here's the Bethesda's Ibex. So he got flesh on that first one. Yeah, that's what I would have expected in that second one when he was. Wait. <laughs> What's that animation? <laughs> Looks like a dog, like. I don't know, I'm just, it kind of looks like his dog when he does that. I think we got double lung when he was about to drop. I'm not sure, I'll have to look at the replay then. But, um, 
Yeah, we're gonna go back to this zone, shoot a few objects, and then after that, I think we're gonna have to end the video there. But, um, yeah, so just before I start to shoot some Ibex and totally clear this whole place of uh, any Ibex, just want to say that um, I will be posting another video day today, and it's gonna be about the new update um, that is um, hyping up the Call of the Wild the community. The, the Call of the Wild community. Um, I know that. Um, there's a new update, new map, new great one, um, all that good stuff. So we're gonna go over that in another video. Look at some of these streams that Jack C. Beard did live, and uh, sort of see um, what this new update has um, is gonna has in place for us. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like there's only one Ibex here. That was a terrible shot. I think we hit him. Alright, we smoked him. We just did a backflip. Look at that. Okay. Just one eye back here. This Ibex. Uh, I think he dropped somewhere over here. There he is. Looks like we got. Oh, never mind. Don't know how many times we hit this guy. Let's see. Oh, that first one just hit his back, and that second one he was still for us to get. Pretty clean lung shot. Man, that guy's a wonky rack. Look at that. Alright. So, unfortunately, I think that's gonna have to do it for today's video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And before I end the video, I just want to say that um, I will do some grinding off camera. Um, but if I see any rares or diamonds, I will record that part. So, yeah, just letting you guys know that I will do some grinding off camera. Um, because, I mean, it seems to be looking, taking a bit, as a, a bit longer than I thought it would be for this uh, grind. But hopefully we can get a bigger diamond than the one we got um, a few days ago. And, uh, yeah. So if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and throw something in the comments so I can know what your guys' opinions are on this video and any feedback. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one.